Welcome to Freakers to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over the TF1 Pro theme, which is a theme for our uh, pro users. It allows you to sell music and merchandise. It allows you to put your own banners on your own page. It allows you to turn sections on and off if you don't want them on your website. Um, it has some responsive improvements and it does have the uh, store integrated into your um, website as well. So without further ado, let's check it out. Um, you would normally log into your WordPress dashboard and then you would see this page right here. Once you do, let's go ahead and go to Website Builder and click on Themes. After that, you want to go ahead and uh, enable or activate by clicking the blue activate button, the TF1 Pro theme. As you can see, I'm currently using the TF1 regular theme, which doesn't have all this extra stuff. Uh, so let's activate the new one. And now that we have TF1 Pro activated, let's go ahead and go to our theme options. Now on this theme options page you can already see uh, some of our contact uh, <coughs> contact form toggle button and basically what this does is if you are not using this field just keep it off but if you do want your contact form toggle it on so I'll start this one off save changes and then we'll go to the front end of the website what everybody else sees on the internet and so as you can see we don't have a contact form down here but if I toggle this to on and refresh this we've got a contact form now now it works the same way for the social um, icons that will be at the bottom of the page down here so let's turn those on since I already toggled this to on let's go ahead and refresh this page and there's the social icons right here so basically that's how that works um, and whereas before all options were shown to everyone no matter if you used them or not so now just being able to hit that off and get those options out of your face will keep things a lot cleaner we feel um, your pro ads section here which is the place that you can use to put ads on your own website um, we don't get paid for any of these ads you create them and for instance if you had a CD on iTunes and you had a banner for your CD and you wanted to send folks to iTunes to buy your CD instead of selling it on your store who knows whatever the case is we're just making the feature available if you need it so to enable these once again you just gotta go in here click on uh, we got two different ways. You can use the widget way here, which is a little bit more complex, or you can just use the simple, hey, I'm going to upload my banner, the image. You can actually add it here and upload it. And you just put a link, and this gets put out right up here. This is the header banner. This is the sidebar banner. We'll have more banners coming in the future. And so this sidebar banner here is basically the same process. And as far as your store, these two links right here are controlled by, guess what, another on off. So if you don't want your store to be enabled, you're not ready yet, uh, just click uh, off and save the changes. And once that's saved, we can go here and refresh this page and these two should be gone. And vice versa to bring them back obviously so that's pretty much it those are our new changes for the TF1 Pro theme these will really help you to sell more music um, you know get more attention and focus it where you need it to be with your banner system uh, and we've seen a lot of our clients not having sections filled out so instead of having those sections just blank you should disable them with the new features uh, and these features, some of these will be going down to the free account, such as disabling sections, as that makes the site a lot more clean appearing. So, uh, but this is Mike with Tune Free. Until next time.